bundles on deck. Y'all, we're working with our new raw Indian bundle. Kaylin, touch it. Let me know what you think. Let me see. Gotta use all my senses. Yes, this is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh huh. We're about to slay. Yeah. It's beautiful. I really like the quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's your girl Gifty, the gift to your hair. We're doing a traditional sewing today using Gifty Raw Indian Body Wave bundles with a lace piece. Originally, Kaylin purchased a lace frontal, but y'all want to see what happened as we go through this video. So to begin, I am starting off by sewing the tracks onto my client's braid pattern. This is how a sewing is typically done. I start by creating the braid pattern. Since originally we're doing a frontal sewing um i did full straight back cornrows so that i could sew on the bundles how i'm doing right now this is only one bundle fully sewn in the bundles are thick it's full it's luxurious so beautiful and bouncy this is only one bundle one bundle covers half of your ears like not half of your ears sorry one bundle goes from the nape of your um, head to the tip of your ears. So it covers a lot of spacing. If you have small head, even two bundles could get the job done. Now we're working on to the second bundle, doing the same sew-in pattern. I like to use a curved needle when I do my sew-in. It just makes everything goes um, faster for me. for me. To sew on the bundles, I like to use the push over method so i start by putting the two tracks together to create a sandwich then i'll take my needle and take the needle push it through the two tracks loop it up connect it to the braid and then pull so again i like to take the two tracks create a sandwich together then i like to take my needle and thread loop that through the track loop it through the braid and pull that fully up i continue this pattern until we get fully done with sewing on the bundles the bundles is from giftyhair.com we're using our raw indian body wave bundles and we're supposed to be doing a lace frontal sewing but halfway through y'all caitlin decide I don't like frontals and I don't know why I purchased this. I'm like, girl, ugh, I knew it. I knew this was not going to be it. Okay, so I'm going to do a little trick, y'all. So she purchased a whole frontal, right? But now wants to be a closure. So what I'm going to do, simply just cut the frontal into a closure. So I'm just parting it. And now... It's off. Do it like that. Oh. That thing was, that lace closure was big. Kizzy, why would you let me order that? Why would you order something that you don't want? Well, I thought I should try it. And then you told me, you know. I didn't know my edges was like that. Y'all, do you see what she's doing right now? Mm -hmm. Do you see how she's flipping the switch on me? Mm -hmm. I ain't even did nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. And I wait. <laughs> okay, so now I've cut the closure, the frontal, into a closure. So this is how it looks. This half is what we're going to be working with. That's nice. It's really, really nice. Um, I'm using the HD lace. Look at that, y'all. That HD lace is bomb. Okay, don't worry. Don't eat, we're going to eat your food right after. <laughs> now I'm going to add a little bit of color to the bow cap for my bomb client. And yeah, so... I will say I'm my favorite client, but last year I didn't win, y'all. I didn't win the trip. <laughs> so we're not going we're not going to say all that no more. <sighs> Gifty does giveaways, trips, very big trips giveaways, so you know. But I didn't win. But you didn't win now. It's only because of why did you win? When I tell my students, oh well, maybe next time. Yeah, next year. Or 
So now we're about to start working on the closure um, part of the install. I put the bald cap on, put the glue on, put it under the dryer, and now I'm sewing the bald cap onto the braid pattern so that the bald cap does not roll back at all. I like to start on one end and create a whole circle um, the circle is going to be in the place of where the lace specifically is going to be laying. So I carve out that circle that I'm creating with the needle and thread to be the size of the lace, exactly what I'm going to be putting on my client's hair. Since we did cut out a frontal to make it a closure, the size is a lot wider compared to your normal closure. So right now I'm just putting the closure on to see where everything is going to lay and how it's going to be. Once I find the right place, of how I want the closure to be I go back in and do the sewing of the closure the closure is sewn fully onto my client's braid pattern I start in the back and I work my way um, from the back to the right side sewing the entire closure onto the braid pattern then I come back to the left side from the center to the left side sewing on the closure to the braid pattern you're doing this because you want the closure to stay on without having to put so much glue on it and it just reinforce the tightness or reinforce the like hold onto your hair. So we do that. Now, after we have fully sewn on the closure from the back and the sides onto my client's hair, um, I did go in and melt the lace already. So this is how it looks when the lace is melted. Now we're gonna go over one more time. I have already molded her down, y'all. Yeah, after basically the closure is on, everything else goes really seamless. I've already done my client's baby hair. I molded her down. I left her under the dryer so that everything can mold and lay good. Now I'm going to go into styling of the bundles. So this is a lace closure sewing using three bundles of raw Indian hair from giftyhair.com. It was originally supposed to be a frontal sewing, but I took the frontal and turned it into a closure. You can do this to any bundles that you have if you have a frontal wig but you want it to be a closure wig just cut it into a smaller piece and then reconstruct it together this also works on your bundles too let's say if you have a frontal frontal and then bundles and you want to make it into a closure in bundles you just cut it and you know that's how it works so right now i'm going through and curling up adding some loose body wave onto the um extensions already these extensions can last up to three years it is raw indian hair it's very very good quality it's thick from it is very thick from the roots to the end beautiful quality hair y'all it also takes color very well and a benefit of getting a sewing is your sewing can last you up to an entire month you have the the freedom of waking up in the morning looking good getting ready and not having to worry so much about your hair your hair is going to be the last thing on your mind because the sewing lasts about an entire month the lace part you do need to come back in for your touch up within two weeks of wearing your lace but that's only if you don't take care of it or if it starts lifting so you got about two weeks wearing the lace you come in for your touch up overall your sewing can last you up to a month a month y'all of looking beautiful so right now i'm just combing and just making sure my amazing client hair is beautiful and she looks so good caitlin is amazing y'all you guys are gonna see caitlin more often because she gets her hair done a lot by me she's been with me since i started doing hair but yeah Thank you so much for watching this video. I showed you how to do a lace closure sewing using Gifty Hair from giftyhair.com. Raw Indian 3 bundles of body wave in 161820. We use 161820 inches. Um Indian body wave with a 5x5 five five closure. Well, okay, it was a frontal, but we changed into a closure so you you already, you already know what happened. So but if you want this look without having to change your frontal into a closure, you can just get a 5x5 five five closure from giftyhair.com. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. This is the end of the video, and I'll see you beautiful people next time. Bye!